you have an EMF meter and it's registering low exposure, does that mean the Wi-Fi in the other room or the cell phone on the counter is not creating any cell phone risk to you? With RF or ELF emissions, distance is your friend. The fact that it's in the other room is still transmitting at the levels they're doing. But when you see the logarithmic function, the power level going down into the other room, that's a physics observation. That's why when you use technologies like these, when you move it away from your body, like for example, if, if you have a, a cell phone to your head and it's hitting your head, that's the wor worst potential danger to the body. If you take it one to two foot away, one to two feet away, you actually reduce the potential dangers by 80%. If you're four foot away, it's over 90%. So when you take something and you move it away from you, you're actually gaining the benefit of distance being your friend. And a meter, you don't even have to use a meter. So if you know where that is, relative to where you are, you're safe, so long as you have that distance. The Cleveland Clinic has been warning its patients for years to keep phones out of their pockets if they want to have healthy babies, and the same advice comes from the Mayo Clinic, and the reason is there's a recognition that cell phone radiation can damage testicular function. Can you explain that in more detail? I, I can. The, the RF signal from a cell phone can do DNA damage to a cell, or it can mutate the cell. And it uses different mechanics than x-rays do. A cell breaks down in, when there's a, a signal from a cell phone by actually the cell itself getting fatigued and calcium building up within the cell. And then there's a chemical reaction that occurs. And that chemical reaction is what creates a mutated DNA damaged cell. In fact, Dr. Paul, a pal, is um, a industry expert who's been looking at that breakdown. And he has been saying somewhat to an extreme, when you have a cell phone in your pocket and you're a 12-year-old girl, there could be DNA damaged mutated cells in the egg itself. And subtending generations 20 years from now, when she has babies, could potentially have uh, that mutation transferred to her subtending generations. So there is a concern that when you have cell phones or laptops close to your, your groin area, male or female, you are potentially exposing yourself to possible damage which could be serious. If you go to the doctor, you and your wife want kids, you know, having kids, Doctor, doctor, I, I use my cell phone all the time in my pocket, but we don't have kids. Very first thing he says is, where do you keep your cell phone? The reason why is because we know 25% of the male sperm, after three or four hours of exposure, is immobile. We know that over the last 10 years, 50% of uh, sterility of man has uh, evolved. That's substantial. And there is some evidence that the toxic influence in our environment could be the cell phone in our pocket. And that's why you see the clinics saying, where do you keep your cell phone? I have an in interesting story. When I, I, I wrote the book Radiation Nation, along with my son, and I had Dr. Prasad read the book. He's a brilliant, brilliant man who was probably the very first radiologist in the country. And um, he read the book, and he said, boy, I learned stuff. Even the most brilliant men in the, in the, didn't quite understand fully. And I mentioned in the book, there's a potential danger to the womb of a girl and to the, uh, to the groin of the man. And he said, I don't really believe that can be true. Well. This was a learned man who, from experience, was saying it wouldn't happen. 
two years later, he calls me up and he said, we had a woman that I was consulting on that had a baby that died almost immediately when being born. We found very, very strange mutated cells. And you know, I didn't believe you when you said it was real. But now I'm starting to change my opinion because this lady had her cell phone and laptop near her womb day and night. By the way, the story turns out good at the end of the day because she stopped doing that. And she had a healthy baby boy three years later. So you really can do a little bit of caution uh, deal with those things. And that's why the clinics say what they do.